Hello! <laughs> so it's my first vlog and I definitely don't have my microphone so deal with the sound. Um, we're vlogging today, actually the entire weekend and part of next month because I'm going to be in Miss Earth Japan, Tokyo and we're gonna win. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm about to go off to get my hair and makeup done for tomorrow and I'm gonna sleep in my makeup. Don't do that everybody, but I'm good. I'm allowed to tonight. <laughs> just got back um just kidding that's a lie i was back for a while but then i washed my dishes and i found a spider and i was gonna kill it and then i couldn't bring myself to kill it so i put it in a cup and i put it outside it's gonna come back isn't it but yeah so i just got back from my haircut i was gonna do makeup as well but I told the lady about my situation and how I wanted to do both hair and makeup tonight since the store, since the salon isn't open in the morning when I need it to be in time for the shoot. So I was like, yeah, we're just going to do hair and makeup tonight and I'm going to sleep in it. And she was like, you know, I can open the store up at nine for you if you want. And I was like, yes, please. <laughs> and so... She's gonna open up the store at 9 o'clock for me so I get to go super early and get my makeup done. But my hair is cut and I have never felt so glamorous in my entire life. Like, oh my god. The whole shampoo and the conditioner and the blow dry and the curling process. It was really nice. It was really nice and I really, really liked it. And she was so nice. Like, her... The salon, her store, has sponsored uh, Miss Earth events in the past, and so like she knew what I was doing, she knew what I wanted. Yeah, it was really nice. She was so sweet. <laughs> um, so I'm really excited for her to do my makeup tomorrow. Yeah, that was the most. That was definitely that was that was a highlight. I love getting my hair done. It was so oh, so nice. Um, anyway, now I'm gonna go put on my outfit for tomorrow. And we're gonna see the whole thing together. Got the hair, earrings, shirt, pants, shoes. We'll do makeup tomorrow and we're good to go. Um, so this is what the whole thing looks like. They just said to wear a white tank top and then they said to wear pants that show like your legs. Um, I either wear shorts or like skinny jeans, and I'm not wearing shorts, so skinny jeans it is. I also most definitely forgot to record the hair process today because I was just so excited for like everything to happen. I was like mesmerized, so I forgot to record up until the end. So that's it for today. I gotta go to bed because since the appointment's at 9 o'clock, I have to leave here by 8, which means I gotta get up at 7.30. So... Time for bed! We got our blazer, our white tank top, our pants, and I'll put my shoes on at the door. Hi! I'm in a mask, so, because I'm outside. Um, but I'm walking to the place we'll have the shoot. <laughs> I'm really excited. It's gonna be so much fun. Um, it's raining. <laughs> um, I actually forgot an umbrella because I'm dumb. And they, but the salon gave me a free one, so I'm so grateful. Ah, <gasps> they're lifesavers. Yeah, I guess that's it. We're almost there. I think I'm like five minutes away, and so time to get this party started. <laughs> you can hear me. Um, I finished my shoot and I'm kind of just staying here so I can take this footage. So I finally made it 
get back from the shoot. Actually, no, I'm not back. I just made to the station. I'm going down to the subway. Um, definitely not back home yet. It's like an hour back home. So wish me luck. I will probably do a sit down update when I get home. So wait just a second. Hello. I'm finally back home. I am exhausted, but I feel a lot better now that I ate some food because I was really hungry. Um, so we're good to go. Um, I changed out of stuff. I put on the official t-shirt. Ignore the mic. <laughs> uh, we got a t-shirt that we're going to wear during our training and stuff. So, but it's like this. Um, so now I'm going to take some pictures with this makeup because... The next time I look like this will be in a long time. <laughs> and so Lisa said I should take a lot of pictures now so I could have a bunch of them to post later on Instagram. So you should follow me. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to take some pictures. And then I have to teach English for an hour. And that's going to be really fun because I get to go looking like this. <laughs> After I finish teaching and I come back, I will do a whole sit down video and talk about the entire experience of the shoot and everything. So just hold on a little bit longer. <laughs> um, I just want to get the pictures done now while it's still light outside. I'm going to get the pictures done, teach, and then come back when it's dark and then sit down and with like a cup of tea and we'll have our usual tea time set up and we'll talk about today. So we finished the English lesson and it's nice and dark out. Um, I was running a little late for it so I definitely ran out the door without my mask or an umbrella. <laughs> so, so now I'm going to go home and we'll sit down and I'll tell you about the whole shoot and everything that went on. Hi. <laughs> We're going to end this the classic Eddie way with a cup of tea sitting down and talking. So, so the shoot. I got there and it was like in one big room. Um, it was Japanese style. <laughs> like where you take your shoes off and you put on slippers and then there weren't enough chairs for everyone so they put like little mats on the ground you can put your stuff and they sit down on while you wait. There was a hair and makeup station in the back corner. There was a hair and makeup station way in the back room. There was a stylist on set with the girl shooting at the time so she can fix hair and little wispies and stuff like that whenever it needs to be fixed in between different takes. There was the coordinator lady and the photographer and this one other guy, I have no idea what he does, but he was there helping out and kind of giving out tips and like poses for people. When I got there, it was pretty crowded. There definitely wasn't enough seats. They made me a little area in the corner with a mat that I could sit down on. And so I kind of chilled there while people kind of cleared out because I think they were behind on schedule. Eventually, I did get called to change. After changing, I went straight to the hair and makeup place and I went with my hair and makeup done, but it was raining that day, as you saw. <laughs> so just like fix my hair a little bit after it being blown in the wind a lot. My makeup was fine. After I got my hair and makeup touched up, it was basically my turn to go, so they're like, hey, you ready? And I was like, I'm ready. And so I went up to the camera. Our first shoot was with a shrub. We had to hold this little, like, weed shrub thing. You know, to be one with nature, because we're Miss Earth and we care about the environment. And with the shrub, we weren't allowed to smile. We just had to look into the camera, like, all aesthetic. Like, he was, like, looking to the distance, and I was like, right. <laughs> um, but it only turned out really good. And then the second one was without the shrub, and this time we could smile. So he asked for like a bunch of smiles. I was really excited. I was definitely not nervous. And I was kind of like moving around, like jumping up and down and like being, not like jumping, but like, you know, there's like, <laughs> just like moving around and like having fun with it. I made the photographer laugh. And I think that was like one of my highlights because he wasn't, look, he didn't look like he was having that much fun. He looked like he was doing his job. He would tell girls that like they were doing good or they like, look really good or like, yeah, good. But like he wasn't like smiling or laughing and I got him to like laugh and like have fun with it. I like that. <laughs> so that was for the pictures. And then 
I went back to change into the official Miss Universe t-shirt. With our t-shirt, we record our 10 second introduction. It's what they're gonna play while we're being introduced onto the stage during the competition. I was really worried about the 10 seconds, but then once I got up there, they're like, oh, you don't have to worry about it. It was just kind of like a outline. So you can go a little over, it's, you know, up to you. So I added some stuff and it sounded all good. Lisa approved after I told her what I said afterwards and I felt really good about it. Like, all of them helped me, the photographer, the coordinator, and the one other random guy, like they all helped me come up with something good at the end and I'm really, really happy with it. <laughs> and then we were done, like that was, that was it. I talked to a couple girls, Japanese people are really shy, <laughs> so it was kind of awkward, but I tried. I talked to the coordinator and the photographer and like that guy a lot, like the people working there and the stylist. We got along great. <laughs> I kind of loitered around afterwards to post stuff onto my story, being like, hey, I'm here and I'm done. Once it started getting kind of empty and I felt bad for loitering around, I was like, okay, I'll go. So then I went home. I think the only thing that sucked was that it was raining all day. <laughs> so like my shoes got wet and like it was really annoying holding an umbrella and like stuff like that. But the shoot itself overall was so much fun. Uh, it was so much fun. I loved being there. It wasn't like nerve-wracking at all. It was it was so much fun. Tomorrow morning, I have my orientation, which I won't vlog because we're just going to do it on Zoom. But I think that is it for now. I hope you enjoyed my first vlog. It was fun. I might do some more if you like it. <laughs> but I will work hard to prepare for the competition because I'm going to win. Just give me the crown already. <laughs> but no, I'm just so excited because regardless of what happens, it'll lead to so many other opportunities. I'll learn a bunch of things, I'll grow, and we all love growth. So I'm really excited. And so I hope you'll stick with me through the journey. I know we won't have anything for two months, but I will still keep posting stuff because I feel like it. So I hope you like it. <laughs> Bye.